Good morning. YouTube. Today is December 1st. My name is Keelan and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am a book cover designer, creative entrepreneur, writer, trying to get back into writing, um, but I am a student. So today is a really a school day in the life vlog, but you'll see elements of my work and my personal life coming in, but ultimately today is a school day. So I am a graphic design student at George Brown College in Toronto. Um, so follow me along for a day in the life. Uh, typically on Thursdays, today is a Thursday, I have two classes, but one of the classes is optional today, but I have plenty of assignments to do. So we're going to be spending a lot of time on campus and we're going to be spending a lot of time trying to get those assignments done. So this is my to-do list for the day. I just finished writing my to-do list. I am having my coffee and taking a look at my to-do list. Um, so for school, my to-do list includes completing 20 sketches for my Typography 1 class. So Typography 1 is a class we have to take in first year at George Brown as a graphic design student. My second is to complete my DigiApps assignment. So that is due tomorrow. Again, first year George Brown class. And then attend my Typography 1 class today. Bonus element is to complete a Designs 1 assignment. They're, they're all called 1 because it's first semester or first year. So I'm going to drop the 1, but my bonus task is to complete my Designs assignment. This is actually an overdue assignment. I was sick one week, so I want to get that done before the end of the semester, obviously, uh, but I did miss that. So we have four things on the agenda for school. Three are completing different assignments, which is a lot. Three assignments is, in a day is a lot, and I work for myself full-time, like I run my own business full-time, so <laughs> we'll see if we get those three assignments done. I guess one is a bonus. And then we're going to attend Typography 1. Normally I would have drawing today too, and we might still go to drawing depending on how the assignment goes, but it's just a work session, so we don't have to be there, so to be determined. Next on my to-do list is my work section. And so, like I said, I work for myself. I am a creative entrepreneur, so the goal is for me, I have set a personal goal to make $200 a day. I do not reach that every day from my creative business. There, I do some other stuff, but like we're really talking about my creative business here, my design, my writing, this YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, click subscribe. I know 70% of you watching aren't subscribed. So, you know, if you subscribe, it helps me a lot. It helps this business a lot. So thank you, Mwah. love you forever. Uh, but yes, my goal is to create or create, earn, generate, $200 a day. So my first goal is to, or my first tick on my to-do list is to check all my emails. I have various emails. I work on various platforms, so I need to check all of those, respond to anything, do two or more hours of client work on Upwork, send out December emails. So I have some clients like my cover design clients that start December 1st, their design starts December 1st. So I wanna send out those confirmation emails that their designs are starting. And then I have some follow-ups to do on outstanding invoices or projects. So people who haven't gotten back to me um, on the state of their project, you know, it's like in their hands to review. I haven't heard from them in a while, so I'm gonna do a follow-up. Next on my to-do list is my personal section. And my first thing that I didn't even write on the list um, is paying rent and I did that. So we're just gonna, it's December 1st, so I had to pay rent. <laughs> so we're just gonna tick that off. And the second thing that I also didn't write on my to-do list is actually updating my habit tracker. So I have a habit tracker that I use. I will leave a blank habit tracker linked down in the description below. It's just an Excel. 
there's nothing special about it, but I'll leave a blank habit tracker in the description box below for you guys to download if you wanted to use it. But it's very simple, it's not aesthetic, but it really helps me keep on track. So I'll just flash quickly my November habit tracker here. So this is my November habit tracker and we'll be making one for December today. My next personal goal is to attend a boxing class. I try and do that every day. Prep some items for sale on Facebook Marketplace. So there's a few things in my house that I don't need anymore. Like, oh, you can't even see it. It's just out of frame here, but I have a fit desk. Um, it's a biking stationary desk that I used to love, but it's not really like the gears have totally worn down um, because my dad used it for like two years and he used it hard. He used it like a, like an exercise bike. And while it is an exercise bike, it's supposed to just be something you like do while you type. And he just kind of like ran it into the ground. So if someone wants a, if someone on Facebook marketplace wants kind of a bike that has no resistance, then that I'm going to sell it for like 20 bucks or something. I've just got a few things. I've got a few things to sell. We'll deal with that later. Um, I have to call and text my landlord about my bed. So the bed here, which is in my bedroom, is their bed, uh, but it's too small. And when I was having my, when I was babysitting my family dog, my parents' dog, we actually slept out here because he has to sleep, sleep on a human bed. And I just did my pull out. Um, this is not my permanent solution to my bed but I am going to replace the one in my room. We're gonna, basically I'm gearing up to rearrange my apartment. Then I'm gonna vacuum and do laundry. Those are my things. It is a long day. It is about 9.30 in the morning right now. I just finished my to-do list. I am going to check all of my emails now, make sure there's nothing I need to respond to. And then honestly, we're probably gonna head out to school. Um, we might go to a cafe first, but we're gonna gear up head out to either the cafe or school. And yeah, we are going to get going. The current state of my desk, <laughs> absolute chaos. Okay, so I am officially done my first assignment. So I had to do 20 sketches for typography. I can't show them to you because we're doing word marks, which is essentially like adding a design element to it or making it a designed word. So it's a word mark, we're making word marks. Um, and unfortunately my client is another student or not unfortunately, it's great, but like our clients are other students. And so I don't wanna like reveal their names on here, but we just had a wrench thrown into our day. There is a um, assignment due tonight that I totally forgot about. So we are going to add that onto our list. Um, and I really, man, today is one for, today is a busy day. Like, I don't know how we're gonna get this all done. Um, but so far we've got one item down for school. So we've completed 20 sketches for typography one. And the next thing, thing that I have to put down here that we haven't even touched on for school yet is doing our typography journal. So basically we have to find like different elements of type and then like in the wild. So like outside on posters, etc. take pictures of it, put them in a journal and write about it. Honestly, it's not my favorite ex exercise. Type is my favorite class by far, but like, I hate this. It's just like a, it's on top of our other assignments. We have to submit it every two weeks. So every week we have an assignment and then we also have projects every like three, four weeks. And then we also have a type journal every two weeks. So it's just like a lot of stuff. Um, hence why I forget about this like type journal that's worth like 2%. So that is added onto our school list. So we've got one down, but we added something on. And like I said, today is a crazy day. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get this all done. On a good note though, we did do quite a bit of work this morning. So it is about noon. It's noon. Um, we have completed our 20 sketches for typography one. That is something off our school to do checklist. For work, we have checked all emails, 
and we sorted our emails into folders, which I have never sorted my emails into folders before, but I was like, let's try it. So for some reason, maybe I was procrastinating doing schoolwork. I did that for like a half hour this morning. It took me half hour, 45 minutes, it took a while. Uh, we have also for work sent out our December emails and we have also followed up on all outstanding invoices and projects. So that is done. The only thing we have left to do for work is, well, hopefully make $200 because that is the goal. We want to make $200 every single day, but we have to do our two hours of client work for Upwork, uh, like on Upwork, which is a freelancing site for those who don't know. We've still got a lot to do. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot to do. Uh, so we're going to get to it. I'm about to pack up. We're going to head to school. And then once we get to school, we're going to actually spend that time on campus getting started on the client work on, for Upwork. And then we're going to go to our, our typography class. So big day ahead of us, big day ahead of us. Please ignore my kind of crazy hair. Uh, it was a little windy outside, but we just got home. We, I just got home from school, uh, did my typography class, submitted my typography assignment, worked on my other typography assignment that I just figured out that I had today. I did an hour of work for a client on Upwork, so made some money. And now we're going to throw in some laundry and go to the gym. All right, so I am back from boxing. I haven't showered yet. It is 10.30 p.m. Why did boxing take so long, you might ask? Well, it took so long because after boxing, uh, some people from the gym were like, oh, let's go get sushi. So I went to get sushi. So I had one drink um, and it was actually delicious. It was an Arizona hard, like Arizona iced tea, but like with alcohol, it was great and then went for all you can eat sushi. Um, so now it is 10.30 p.m. and this is where we're at for the day. I still have to do my type journal, which is my typography one assignment, and that's due at midnight. So that is the top priority. I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna do that. It shouldn't take too long, but you know, I it has to get done. It should take like a half hour, but it has to get done. Um, completing the Digi Apps assignment might be moved to tomorrow. Uh, and then we have the bonus. I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, we have one hour of client work completed, so we want to do that second hour, and that's all we have left to do for work. Although we haven't met our $200 a day goal yet, unless someone buys like a pre-made book cover or something like that. So I have to check on that. And then we have now attended, I have to update my personal to-do list. So we have now attended a boxing class, so I can tick that off. We updated our habit tracker. We have not prepped items for sale on Facebook Marketplace and I doubt that's getting done today. I have yet to call and text my landlord about moving my bed. We have yet to vacuum, but we have done laundry. So we're pretty good. We're doing pretty good on our to-do list. We're doing pretty good. But the number one thing is the type journal. And then if we can get to it, another hour at least of client work. 
So 10.30 p.m. I know this is gonna put us past midnight, but I don't count the day over until I go to sleep. And so yeah, I am going to shower and then we're going to jump into everything that we gotta do today <laughs> or tonight. <laughs> With seven minutes to spare, I finished my type journal. So that is another assignment we get to take off for today. It's 1 a.m. I can barely keep my eyes open, but we finished this. We actually only did an hour and a half of work today. Um, so I'm just gonna change that to 1.5, but we finished all of the work the client requested. So it's not like, it's not like we can do more. Oh, and you can see my notes from, we're watching a Helvetica movie in typography. So you can see all my notes from that. Um, but this is where we're at for the day, a bit of a summary, but I am going to bed. I am so tired. So all of these things like this, uh, this, that's all good. We didn't get this today. And these will be on my to-do list for tomorrow, but uh, it is time for bed and we're gonna do a recap of the day tomorrow morning. So good night guys. So it is the next morning. We got a whole bunch of stuff done yesterday, including two assignments. We attended one class and today I'm working on the third assignment, my Digi Apps assignment that I didn't do yesterday. Um, got a whole bunch of work done. In the end, we made about 40 Canadian dollars for work. So that is great. Obviously my goal every day running my own business is to make $200 a day. So we didn't hit that. We weren't anywhere close, but it was a more school focused day. And on the personal side, I still have to clean my apartment um, and prep some items from for sale on Facebook Marketplace because I'm trying to rearrange my apartment. I'm going to be doing a big like rearrange of the space. So I need to get some stuff out of here. Um, and I still have to, you know, just do some cleaning. But I would say yesterday was a pretty productive day. We didn't get everything done, but it was pretty productive. Um, we had a surprise kind of like fun evening, which was great. And now it's Friday and the week's almost done and there's a few more school items to do. I have to play some catch up over the weekend um, on some school items from the past, but then we're heading into the last two weeks of school. So that's really exciting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please, 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 please subscribe if you enjoy content like this, if you're interested in like student life and interested in like um, the life of someone running their own business, that would be absolutely wonderful. So please consider clicking that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much and talk to you later, everyone. Catch you at the, on the next video. Bye.